The biggest threat to businesses that focus on the short-term rental model is new regulations passed by cities or HOAs that prevent property owners from renting their, their projects for less than 30 days. These regulations handcuff investors and prevent them from making sustainable cash flow in some expensive markets. Well, for all practical purposes, San Diego just outlawed Airbnb. And in this video, I'm gonna walk through this project and show you how we kept it from bleeding to death by targeting traveling nurses with a new medium-term rental model. Our method is a modification of the Burr strategy, where we're using new ADU regulations to add value to the property. The Burr strategy is where you buy, rehab, rent, pull all of your capital out, and repeat the process. In order to do that with our model, we need to be all into a project for 70% of the ARV, the after repair value. When we're able to do that, we do a cash out refinance at the end, pay all of our investors out, and then maintain a cash flowing asset in Southern California with none of our own capital invested in the deal. We bought this project a couple years ago. The owners were going through a divorce, so we got it for a pretty good deal. As you can see on our original walkthrough, everything on the inside needed to be updated. The first thing that we did is we rehabbed units one and two, but the cool part about this project was this 900 square foot bonus room. Using the new ADU regulations, we turned that bonus room into a fully permitted third unit. <clears throat> so in sticking with our model of being all into the project for 70% for of the ARB, here's what the numbers look like. We purchased the duplex for 700,000 and then put another 300 into the rehab of units one and two and getting unit number three fully permitted. We're all into the project, including our holding costs for about a million bucks. At the end of the construction, we appraised for a $1,475,000. We did a cash out refi with an LTV of 70%. So we pulled all of our capital out of the deal and now have a cash flowing asset and $440,000 of equity in the deal. Not bad, right? The primary issue with investing in expensive markets like San Diego has to do with the price point that you purchase at compared to the rental income. While it's true that values do go up over time, they don't necessarily do it in a linear fashion. So there are two main reasons that we're moving to the medium term model. First is the cash flow. The gross schedule income when we've got a paying tenant in this property is about $2,500 a month. But on the medium term model, we project between four and $5,000. So we're more than doubling our cash flow. But that's not even the big issue. The big issue was that for the last two years, we haven't been, been able to evict the tenant. They weren't paying full rent and the neighbors were complaining about them, but we couldn't get them out because of the eviction moratorium. Our theory is that a traveling nurse or another professional is less likely to try to take advantage of these regulations in California. This particular unit is ideally suited for the medium term model because of its location. It's about a mile from three major hospitals and two major universities. Plus it's in a safe, centrally located area of America's finest city. So although this is our first medium term rental, we expect plenty of demand. First things first, we had to get rid of the, the tenants who weren't paying during COVID. After the eviction, we've, we've spent a few weeks cleaning up the unit, touching up the paint and doing routine maintenance. From there, we bought all the furniture for the entire apartment, furnished the kitchen, and then also bought lin linens for the bathrooms. All in all, we spent about $10,000 in switching it from a long-term rental to a medium-term rental. We had the flat screen and the blue wall behind me because we're trying to make sure that we keep this unit occupied. And that's a key to using Airbnb or furnished finders, is to use really high-quality photos that will grab your renter's attention. Now remember, we're doing the Burr strategy and we want to take advantage of the ADU regulations. So we want to make sure that this unit is cash flowing and occupied while we go through the permitting process to build a fourth ADU in this big flat backyard. Now that we've got the turnover complete and everything's furnished, what's next is to take pictures and market the unit on Airbnb and Furnish Finder so that we can find a tenant. If you like what we're doing and want to see more of our content, check out this video, which goes through our full analysis on another project that we took a swing at here in San Diego. And if you want to learn more about us and the projects that we have in the pipeline, go to our website and sign up for our email list. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you on the next one.